Hi, and welcome back. Continuing the Hollywood movie title series. Today's tutorial will explain how to make the Jonah Hex flying logo. In this tutorial using Cinema 4D, we make modeling and animation of the logo. And in After Effects, by using preset and expression, we insert, sparks, explosion, dust fire and much, much more. I do a short introduction. To get this 3D special profile on the logo, I created a document in Adobe Illustrator that reproduces our scene animation. We analyze the H letter. This letter is composed of separate closed paths, ready to create this particular 3D extrusion. Open Cinema 4D, and import the Adobe Illustrator file. As we can see, the pivot of our object is not centered. In order to center the pivot, go to the front view. Activate the tool Pivot Moves. Enlarge the view, and centered axis. Back in the perspective view, and in coordinates panel, enter the value 0. We insert the camera, and in the Render Settings panel, insert the size of the final project, 1920 and 800 pixel. The file name, Logo Jonah Hex 3D. And activate Alpha Channel and Anti-Aliasing on Best. Extend the timeline to 122 frames. Activate our camera and reset all the values of the coordinates to zero. Insert on Z position, less 1920. Now, we can delete the reference axis, previously imported. Rename the layer groups to recognize the letters of the project. Inside the Jonah group, connect the paths that make up the A letter and the O letter. This helps us to get a correct extrusion. We apply the extrude tool. Activate hierarchical. Insert a depth to 72 and a fillet cup, with steps to 10 and radius to 3. Rename this extrude layer, Jonah. Activate the group of the H letter 
and applied the extrude nerves with depth to 72. Even here, activate hierarchical. So, we have the same depth of the text Jonah. Now we proceed to obtain the special 3D profile. We select all the paths in it. Activate the point tool selection. And with the rectangle select tool, disable only the visible elements. Select all the joining points, with the shift key pressed. Ok, now, move the points along the Z-axis. With the shift key pressed, up to value 30. As we can see, we got our profile. We make a render. We repeat the same steps, for the other letters. Rename this, H. Ok, we have completed all the letters. We make a render to see the result. Wow! Incredible! Simple step, great result! If we zoom in, on the curves of the letters, we can see the imperfections. To fix this, select the paths that compose the letter. And we set, intermediate points, from adaptive to natural. With subdivision value, to 32. Select the Jonah Extrude layer, and press the C key on the keyboard, to separate all letters. This step, serves to prepare, to separate animations of the Jonah letters. Rename each layer, with the correct name of the letter, and move out of the old group.
activate the A camera, insert the keyframes on position and on rotation. Insert the values, X, less 148, Y, less 93, Z, less 104. On rotation, 5.5, less 8, and 42. Let's go to frame 30, and insert, less 115, 138, less 90, on rotation, 0 and 31. Let's go to frame 32, and insert, less 18, 153, less 83, on rotation, less 54, less 2 and zero. Twenty-four. One hundred sixty. Less eighty. On rotation, less fifty-four. Less four, and less two. In frame 56, insert the values, less 25.5, 152, less 84, less 51, less 2, and 2. values of the 57 frame are 40 135 and less 168.5 To switch the camera's animation sequence, we insert the Stage tool. This allows us to create infinite sequence of cameras. Go to zero frame, drag on camera layer, the A camera, and activate the keyframe.
keyframe on 42 frame. In this way, we fix the final E letter position. Let's go to 0 frame and insert the following values less 108, less 368, less 6. Go to 20 frame. Less 86.5. Less 117.5 and 0. Let's go to 26 frame and insert less 85. Less 97.5. In the 27 frame. Less 83.5 and less 96. Select the X letter, and modify the pivot, place it, in the bottom left. This will be a new axis reference in the rotation. Activate the keyframe on the position and B rotation in the frames 42, 52, and 56. Let's go to 52 frame and modify on Y position less 217 and on B rotation 27. Okay, view the result. These values can be changed to improve the effect of the movement of the letters, or be different if you use other letters that compose your logo. To improve the X letter trigger effect, change the X letter depth from 72 to 40. and insert a keyframe on 56 frame. We complete with change depth value to 72 in 57 frame. In this way, during the A camera animation, the X letter has a depth to 40. During the B camera animation, it has a depth to 72. Proceed with the Jonah text animation. Go to 67 frame and select all letters that compose the Jonah text. Go to coordinates panel and activate the keyframe on the rotation and Y, Z position. Go to 77 frame, and activate keyframes. Return to the 67 frame, and insert the following values, 450, less 250, less 18, less 33, and less 18. Now, we move the keyframes along the timeline. The J letter is the default. The O letter start from 77 to 87. The N letter from 72 to 107.
the A letter, from 69 to 98. And finally, the H letter, start from 77 to 122 frame. View the result. OK. Very cool. Insert the first light, and set the following colors, 100. 133, 160. Intensity to 130, and activate shadow maps. Go to coordinates panel, and insert, Y, 2533. Z, less 125. View the result. Rename, 01. Duplicate and rename 02. Modify the coordinates, 4620, 2530, and less 2965. Intensity from 130 to 100. View the result. Duplicate in 03. Change the color width, 137. 163 189 Intensity to 50 Coordinate 0 1150 And less 2290 View the result Duplicate and rename 04 Change the coordinates Y 1245, and Z, less 336. Modify the color, 220, 248, 255. Intensity to 100. View the result. Duplicate in 05. Intensity to 60. And modify the coordinates, Y. 104 Z 1115 Finally, duplicate and rename 06 Insert Y less 450 Z less 520 Change the type light from Omni to Area Intensity to 50 in Details Panel, Insert, on Alpha Radius, the value 450. Edit the Y size, to 274. OK, this is our light systems. We group, and rename. Proceed and insert the first material. Rename it, Metal 01. Apply these textures in our material. Activate Reflection. and open the material editor in the color panel import the first texture we set the mix strength to 80 reflection to 16 we set the fresnel texture type mix strength value to 60 go to unspecular panel and change the following values, 100, and less 5. 
width less 33 duplicate material and rename metal 02 modify reflection from 16 to 9 and in the color panel import the texture number 2 We apply the Texture Metal 02 on Jonah Text. With the projection type, Cubic. View the first result. OK. Apply the Metal 01 on the H letter we set cubic type projection and modify the tiles U and V from 1 to 0 0.4 and the offset V to less 63 Apply this material also on the E letter, and modify the offset U, to 118. Finally, we apply this latest material on the X letter, modify the offset U, to 16. View a result. Wow! For the final rendering, from Render Setting Panel, activate the Vector Motion Blur effect. To apply this effect, we select all the letters, with right mouse button, apply the tag, Motion Blur, OK. Now we proceed with the rendering of the logo animation. Here is the result. As we can see the motion blur simulates the blur effect. Very useful. Very nice. Open After Effects and we continue our project. Here are the elements that we use. In this project we will use CC Particle Word and the Trap Code Particular. On web you can find many fire effects free to use presets for after effects. I have collected some of them, and I have changed them to improve on Jonah Hex animation impact. All are available, in the download files for Yachuts Member Plus. I have also included this a fabulous after effects expression, that will allow us to manage and animate the various particle effects. Ok, let's go. We import our files, and create our own composition. Go to 57 frame and insert a timeline tag to separate the two areas. Insert the lens flar 01 and put it in add mode. Before to insert the first particle preset, insert an null object. The null object must be present to tag 1.
Rename no object, controller. We make it a 3D layer. OK, we set the first keyframe. 1072 and 1036 we bring the display to 25 the no object must follow the edge of the letter during the animation Rename particle layer spark 01. Apply the first preset. As we can see, the first preset, follow the script controller. If you have not called your null object controller, you can connect manually, the position of particle X and Y, with coordinates of position of the null object layer. You can change the parameters of the effect, as you like. View the result. We set, in add mode. The preset spark 01, has keyframes that control, the time factor, levels, and particles. But you can change them as you like. The full parameters of the Spark 01 are included in the scheme. Insert the Lens Flar 02.
and set layer, in add mode. From 55 frame, we add an adjustment layer, renames to Slider Explosion. Apply a slider control effect. This slider serves to attach our script. OK, insert keyframes in 56 and 57 frame. Change the value of the 57 keyframe from 0 to 150. Finally, in 72 frame, the value back to 0. Duplicate Spark 0 1 layer. Renames Explosion 0 1. and we apply the new preset. Very important, do not forget to delete the old particle effect. In the second preset, I applied very specific expression script that control and animate the particle system in the X, Y, and Z positions by using the null object 3D space control. The intensity parameter of the particles is managed with the use of the slider control. Follow me, and I show you how. Here too, it is very important to remember the names of reference to attach the script, in this case, the birth rate and velocity parameter, are attached to the slider control. The X, Y, Z position, are attached, to 3D control space. Because, if you do not the base effect will be static. OK. Duplicate the controller layer, and renames 3D control space. In this case, even if we respect the names of the controller, after you have imported the explosion preset, we must activate the script. Simply copy and paste it on himself. Made this step activates the functions of the script and we can see the result by starting the timeline from our reference 1. The use of this script allows us to monitor the presence and speed of the particles using the value set in the sequence of keyframes on slider explosion and the movement of particles within the space of the hour scene through the 3D control space. Very, very helpful. We set on 3D control space a keyframe on 57, with Z position, to less 1000. And in 72 frame, with a value, less 800. View the result. The particles move in 3D space, along the Z position. Wow! If we modify the values of the radius X, we can control the dispersion of the particles. You can test different settings.
I forgot, I added, in the preset, also in curves effect, to make the particle more compact, and a glow, to make the color brighter. In total, in this project, I created three layers of particles. You can also add more particles layers, until to get the result you like. The trick is to create layers of different particles between them, for dispersion, particle shape, and color. To make you understand the potential of this technique. In the third preset, I wanted to attack a second controller, slider control 2, to set a different value on the slider control parameter. OK, it activates the window that shows, that cannot find the slider control too. No problem. Duplicate quickly, slider control, and renames with a number 2. Inside the 57 frame, from 150 to 33. Repeat the copy and paste the script step. As we can see the result, is an animation with a different type of particles. If you view the three layers of particles together, the final result is very interesting. You do various tests to get the explosion effect that you like, with this technique, the results are guaranteed.
microsets have no script attacked. As we can see, these particles are very fast animation. To slow down, we select them and creates a precomposed layer, dust fire comp. So, we come back on Cinema 4D, insert a cube polygon in our scene, and edit with following values, 2015, 835, and 1. In the coordinates panel, on Z position, we insert the value 80.5. We make a render. If we make the animation on Cinema 4D, we get automatically the shadows on the BG object. Create a new material. In the color panel, load the texture BG. Now, we need to center the texture to our cube object. Edit the offset V, with less 2, and length V, to 102. Ok, perfect. We select all the letters of the logo, grouping them together and apply a compositing tag, with scene by camera turn off. So, we can make a render of the animation of the background and shadow. Shadows video, and replace at the layer BG. View the result. Apply a Tritone effect, edit Matone's color, with the following values, 92. 102 109 Apply a exposure with a value of less 0 0.8 Apply also the exposure on the logo and change the gamma value to 0 0.8 Apply a hue saturation. Turn on colorize, with the values, less 150, and 18.
apply the curves effect to make the logo darker. Follow on screen the setting. Duplicate the logo layer, delete the effects, and apply a tritone. Edit Matone's color, with the following values, 255, 115, and 0. Edit layer on linear dodge mode. Base in the 80 frame. View the result. Duplicate the last logo layer and modify the animation of the mask with a delay time from the first. Improve the result by changing the opacity of the first logo layer to 70. View the result. Very cool. To complete our project, we add the smoke particles. Duplicate the particle explosion 03 layer, and import the last preset, smoke 01.
AD. different positions. Okay, select the two smoke layers, and unite them in a pre-comp. View the final result. To improve the effect, insert a opacity keyframe on 57 frame, with a value 50. Let's go to 80 frame, and insert the value 90. We complete our project, with the audio file. Create a new composition, dragging the audio file on it. Insert the project in it, and modify the stretch time, to 116. Before proceeding with the final rendering, we must move the presence of the two logos with masks from zero frame to one reference. Very nice. In the next episode I'll show you how to make a movie title, The Legend of the Guardian. Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Kahul. Knock knock. I hope this tutorial has been to your liking.